now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Last week, we had another tragic mass shooting here in America. And this mass shooting, which took place at the Henry Pratt Company Warehouse in Aurora, Illinois, wound up with five people losing their lives and five police officers being injured as the result of Gary Martin deciding to go on a shooting rampage because he had been terminated from his job that he had for the last 15 years. Now, as I began to examine and study Gary Martin's background, I began to see the same pattern and profile I talk about regarding beta males in my book, The Man Crisis. And in that book, The Man Crisis, I detail how these beta males go out and participate in these horrific acts of violence due to the way they have been raised. And when I took a critical examination of Gary Martin's background, I began to clearly see the background of the beta males I describe in my book, The Man Crisis. Now, your Gary Martin, before he participated in this mass shooting, had a history of domestic violence. So, this was a man who was known to have very little self-control, very little discipline, and very little critical thinking skills. And he had been arrested several times since 1995 for assault, and he had been imprisoned for assaulting one female and stabbing her with a knife. Now, after he got out of prison, I believe in about two and a half, three years, I think about 98, 99, he got a job at this warehouse, and even as he was at this warehouse working, he was still going out here and getting into trouble with women. So he had racked up several more arrests for domestic violence. However, many of those arrests didn't seem to matter when this man went out to apply for a gun permit and managed to actually get a gun permit in the state of Illinois. So something was really wrong here because this man with a felony conviction on his record managed to be able to get this gun permit and he managed to be able to purchase that pistol that he used in this mass shooting legally. So there, here is the point that many of the gun control advocates don't want to talk about regarding Gary Martin. They want to talk about how we need more gun control laws, but this man managed to slip through the cracks in the bureaucracy and still managed to get approved for a permit in the state of Illinois, and he managed to be able to purchase this pistol and a laser sight legally. And this is the big thing with most of these mass shooters, is that they managed to buy their weapons legally. Now, when this Gary Martin decided to buy a concealed, get a concealed carry permit, that's when his felony wound up getting flagged in the system. However, at that point, it proved to be too late because they decided to just send Gary Martin a letter in the mail telling him to relinquish his pistol. And we all know that that is completely a foolish notion to do when you're dealing with a man who clearly already has a felony conviction on his record and is considered to be so dangerous that he's participated in numerous domestic violence incidents. The chances of you getting him to relinquish a gun are slim to none. So there, that was just ridiculous on the part of Illinois bureaucracy to believe that this man would just relinquish a pistol by sending him a letter. So that, that right there shows that gun control laws are no way of stopping a mass shooter when they are planning to have their shooting rampages. And when it comes down to these beta males who participate in these shooting rampages, what causes them to go out here and participate in these shooting rampages is realizing that 
they have nothing to lose. So whenever they feel like there is no value to their own life, they go out of their way to try to destroy the lives of others. And I believe that your Gary Martin was pushed to the point of believing he had nothing to lose when he was terminated from his job. And the way that the warehouse handled his termination, it just wasn't a good way to handle a termination. Now, they announced this man's termination two weeks ago, and that allowed for the situation to simmer and boil, and allowed this beta male to simmer and boil in anger. And that led to this man becoming a ticking time bomb. So this man was already a toxic male from the beginning. He was already toxic because he had already stabbed one woman over 20 years ago and, a, and got a felony there. He had already been stalking other women before in the past, and he'd been arrested for that. So this man was already a ticking time bomb, and I believe it was this incident of getting terminated from his job that triggered the explosion that of rage that transpired in that factory warehouse where he exploded in this rage and decided to go out here and murder the human resource people who were terminating him. And the reason why they he was going to murder them was because he figured he had nothing to lose at this point. So he was going to make sure that the people who hurt him wound up losing more than he would possibly lose. That's what he probably thought when he participated in this mass shooting was he was going to make these people lose their, if he was going to lose his job, he was going to lose, make them lose their lives. And that's why he took that gun to that termination. And that's why he went out of his way to terminate the lives of all of those people. Now the HR manager there, he brought an intern into this termination. I guess he was bringing him in there to be some sort of witness, but that clearly, as I see it from a business perspective, wasn't really a smart decision. And he brought in several other employees to witness this termination, but again, that was not very smart. Now, you would think if you know that this man has a record that you would have brought in some sort of security to secure the individual, but they didn't do that. Now, I remember about 10 years ago when I was being terminated from City College, they brought in all sorts of security to be at the library where they were letting me go. And they had all these people there, but they didn't really need all those people because once that guy said I was let go, I did not get emotional. And this is the thing that these beta males do in these situations is because they are emotional and because they are simmering in anger, this is why they participate in this kind of violence. Now, when I was being let go, I managed to maintain control over my emotions, and I just left, just went after the guy, let me go, and he gave me this performance appraisal that was filled with lies. I just took the appraisal to, and then made sure that I was getting paid, called my family member, got my coat, and then I just left the, left the campus, and I haven't been back there in years. Now, I was able to do that because I had strong discipline and self-control, and I understood that God would have me because he told me to keep going, and he told me to keep going because he knew that he, I knew that he had more for me in the future. But when it comes down to guys like this Gary Martin, this was probably the only job he had, and he probably thought that he had no other prospects for a job because, because, um, he does because with a felony conviction on his record, it's very hard out here for a black man to find employment. And with this man having several arrests on his record already for stalking and harassing women, it was going to be next to impossible for this man to find a job. Now, I understand where your Gary Martin was coming from, and I understood his despair and I understood where he was coming from because I was in that situation, again, over 10 years ago. I understood it, but I do not excuse the violence that this man participated in because there was a way out of this and a way where he could find his way back on his feet. Now, I could not, I myself, not understand, again, where this man is coming from because after I was let go of my job in 2008, I had to start trying to find a way to try to find another job, and I still have not found 
that full-time job yet, but I have never wanted to go out here and participate in an act of violence like this, like most beta males do, because when it comes down to the beta male, the beta male, he does not know how to think critically, and he doesn't, again, have discipline and self-control, and he does not understand how to control his emotions. And these situations lead to a man becoming, again, a ticking time bomb that eventually winds up exploding in rage. And when these men wind up exploding in their rage, what happens is, sadly, many innocent people wind up losing their lives and many others wind up with their lives forever changed, like many of those police officers who wound up getting injured as a result of this man's shooting rampage. And while many in government want to make this a gun control issue, I see the real problem as it being a problem, clearly, with the way boys are being raised here in America. Because I believe if we go into Gary Martin's background, we're going to see that Gary Martin comes from a single mother household. Because when it comes down to these guys from these single mother households, they are usually the ones who wind up participating in things like domestic violence, like this Gary Martin participated in, and they also wind up participating in behaviors like stalking and harassing women, like your Gary Martin is alleged to have participated in in numerous police reports. And when it comes down to these beta males who come from these single mother households, they wind up participating in this behavior again because they have been raised in a home by a single mother, they have not been taught masculine life skills by a father, they have not been taught masculine survival skills by a father, and they have not been taught how to navigate the world the way a man does like a father. And when you have been taught by a man and other men, you then understand how to navigate extremely stressful situations like terminations like a man. Now, when it comes down to men and termination situations, I, again, have been there twice in my life, and I know that they are very stressful situations. I know that they make you extremely anxious, and I know that you feel deeply troubled because you do not know when, how are you going to make a living or how you are going to be able to pay your bills or how you are going to be able to survive. But when it comes down to these guys, they don't know how to, again, problem solve. And that's what makes them ticking time bombs. And this guy's situation was exacerbated because, again, he had felony conviction on his record. He had numerous arrests on his record. And this man knew that it would be next to impossible for him to find new employment to replace the job that he had, probably because it was the best job he ever had in his life. So this man, he exploded in this rage and because he felt like he had nothing to lose. Now, many people want to wonder, how can you prevent men like this from becoming ticking time bombs? And the answer to that is you have to understand what signs to look for with these beta males. Now, when it comes down to these beta males, Again, a lot of them, when they are quiet, they are simmering and boiling in anger, and a lot of them are struggling with different problems because they don't know how to navigate the world as men. They don't have male survival skills, and they don't know how to go out into the world and work the way a man does or how to deal with the way the world works like a man does. And usually, most men who know how the world works as a man know that they don't put all their stock into a job, and this is one of the mistakes that your Gary Martin made, was he probably put all of his stock into this one factory job, and every other man out here knows that you cannot put all your stock into a job, you have to have a side hustle, so if you lose your job, you can still make money off a side hustle, and this is one of the things I was doing back in 2008, was laying the foundation for one of my side hustles, the SJS Direct imprint, where I was going to sell the books that are currently in my catalog. And that's one of the things guys usually do, is they understand they cannot rely on these jobs alone. And especially when you're a black man, you can be terminated for any reason. 
just as simple as somebody not liking you or somebody just having an issue with you just because you are a black man and you are there and you are representing competition to many of these white men and Hispanic men and Asian men. And just you being there makes them uneasy because your presence means that these men cannot get comfortable and start re relaxing. They have to actually go out here and work. So you have to have a side hustle. And I don't believe Gary Martin had a side hustle and because if he had a side hustle, he would have just worked on his unemployment and he also would have worked on developing new skills. This is another thing black men have to do and men have to do is in addition to the side hustle, go out here and get other skills. Now, after I got terminated from City College, I took my unemployment and then went to the Metropolitan Educational Opportunity Center and I took a PC repair class and I got my A plus certification. So these are other things that men can do. But again, because when you have a beta male, beta males, they don't know how to problem solve. They don't know how to think critically. And when they have something like a job fall apart, their smooth world winds up getting rough. And when things get rough, instead of them buckling down and having the resolve to develop a strategy and a plan to overcome those hard times, what these men do is they get it in their mind that they have nothing to lose, and then they go out here and participate in a shooting rampage that not only takes the lives of innocent people, but winds up destroying their life as well and destroying their chances at possibly bouncing back. But the reason why these guys don't want to bounce back is because they believe they don't have any hope. However, there is lots of hope out there, but you have to come outside of the box of thinking of the standards of the world out there, and you have to start creating a new road for yourself by going your own way. And this is something your Gary Martin didn't understand, is that when you go your own way, you're going to change course, but you're not, and go from the traditional route of jobs, but think about finding ways to create revenue streams for yourself. So I look at this Gary Martin, and I see a textbook beta male who participated in a shooting rampage because he probably came from a single mother household. He probably didn't have much in the way of critical thinking skills because the way I see it, the way he handled his relationships with women, he just went crazy because they didn't do things that he wanted and he decided, to, oh, I'm going to attack them and I'm going to stalk them because that's something I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis, extensively about the behaviors of these men as it relates to women. And then I also talk about things as related to their behavior overall. And when it comes down to these guys, again, they just don't know when to put a period at the end of things. They don't know when to move on. And instead of moving on, they try to end, end other people's lives and bring misery into their company. And then they try to do, and that does damage to all the people around them. Again, when it comes down to the beta male, he is a ticking time bomb. And it's not a question of if he explodes, it's when he explodes, and it's a matter of how much damage he's going to do when he explodes. And what's scary about this latest mass shooting is how people in government don't want to take any responsibility for this whole situation. They want to turn it again into a gun control issue, when what created this whole issue, again, I believe, is the way we are raising boys here in America because the way we have been raising boys over the last 50 years is leading to these beta males growing up to become these toxic men and these toxic men they are ticking time bombs and lion mines all across this country and what's the scariest thing is we have over two to three generations of these men out here and it's not again not a question of if they go off but when they go off and what damage they will do when they go off wherever they are. If you'd like to learn more about toxic males like this Gary Martin, you can pick up my new book, The Man Crisis, in paperback and e-reader on Amazon.com, Smashwords and Nook. And this book will teach you about the behaviors of these men and how these men came about and what everybody can do to learn about how to solve this man crisis, which is becoming an epidemic here in America. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.